Have you ever thought you wanted to build a video game? You just didn't know what to do, where to start, how to go about it? Well, listen up, I'm here to help. I'm Jerry from Blizz Studio. I'm the creator of the Apple featured game, Trixel Rocket, available on the App Store. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using Unity as a game engine. We'll be using Playmaker as a visual scripting tool so that you do not have to code. We'll also be using tools like Photoshop to create graphics, Audacity to record sound and, and create sounds. And then we'll also be using other tools along with those and then bringing it all back into Unity so that we can then build a game. And in this video, we're gonna download Unity, get it installed, start taking a look at the interface so you can begin your journey. So if you're ready, let's get started. The first place we're going to go is to Unity.com. Unity is a game engine that allows you to create multiple types of games for consoles, mobile devices, Steam, the PC, Mac, etc. And what we're going to do is to go ahead and on the very first page, click Get Started. Once you do that, you can click on Individual. And if you're making less than $100,000 on creating games in 12 months, which most of you probably will be, you can get it for free. So go ahead and click on Get Started, download and install Unity, and then we'll move to the next step. And now that you have Unity installed, let's go ahead and create a new project. So I have my Unity Hub up. I'm gonna go ahead and click New. And in the first case, we're gonna go ahead and create a 2D game and you can see that we have a lot of different options here. 2D, 3D, 3D with extras, uh, HDR, which is a high definition render pipeline, the URP, the universal render pipeline. And where, where do we start? Well, we're gonna go ahead and just start with 2D just to kind of keep things simple. In this first project, I'm gonna go ahead and start with just showing you the Unity interface. In the next project, we'll move on to other steps. So let's go ahead and the first thing is we want to select 2D and I'm going to call this Space Shooter Tutorial. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and save this in a folder in my game dev folder on my computer and we'll call this Space Shooter Demo. And then inside of this folder, I want you to go ahead and try to stay organized. Now, normally what I do is I like to create a folder for sounds, create a folder for uh, graphics files like Photoshop files, etc. Anything that you want to create that are parts of the game, but don't necessarily need to be inside of the project. We'll create those as folders outside of the game itself. So inside the Space Shooter demo folder, we're going to create a new folder and I'm going to call that game. So this is where the actual game is going to reside. So now that I have that folder, I can go ahead and select folder. That's where we're gonna save our game and we're gonna click create. Now that Unity has popped up, we can go ahead and start looking at the interface. Now there's a lot going on here and it's gonna only get a little more complex, but just know that as we move through the process of starting to look at different parts of building out a game, you'll learn more and more about the interface as we go. So with that being said, let's take a little walk around the Unity interface. So at the very top, you can see that there are a set of icons. And these are great little tools that are gonna allow us to grab onto uh, and move our scene around, click on objects and move those around within the scene. We'll be able to rotate objects, scale objects, and we'll learn more about these tools as we go. I'll provide a link down below in the description so you can have access to keyboard shortcuts that are commonly used in Unity. All right, with that being said, let's take a look at the window right below. You can see this is called Hierarchy. So this is the window that can, contains all of the objects that are within the scene. Everything in the game is a game object. 
They're just different types of game objects. So currently we have sample scene, which is created by default. And within that is a main camera. And so these are two different game objects. There's the scene itself, and then there's the main camera. And then anything else you create is gonna be within this kind of hierarchy structure. Now these are items that are actually in the scene itself, okay? All right, so moving on to the next window, which is in the center, you can see that we have scene. And then the next tab over is game. And the game is actually the current camera that you have selected. So it's what you would actually see in the game itself. So here we have our main camera. You can see that the camera has a little bit of a rectangle around what's viewable in that camera. And then when I go into the game view, that's what that camera sees. Currently, it's just a blue background because we haven't stuck anything in there yet. All right, so let's go back to scene. Now in the scene, this is actually a 3D scene. Even though we created a 2D game, all that really has done is just changed how the camera has viewed the scene. Now I'm not gonna get into the details of that right now, but just know this is a 3D space. If you click on this 2D icon right here, all of a sudden you can see that the camera has become uncaged and we can actually move around within a 3D space. So I'm holding down the option key to allow me to move within that space. So this is kind of nice. With that camera selected, you can see where the camera is at and where it's looking at within this 3D environment. Um, but because we're not really getting into the camera at the moment, we'll go ahead and just click the 2D button again. And so you can see now that we're looking back into 2D space, uh, even though it is 3D. All right, so let's move on. The next tab over is the asset store. So we're, we'll take a look at this in another demo. But in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and click back on scene. The window that's on the, the very right is the inspector. So this is a contextual menu. It changes based off what you have selected in your scene. So currently I only have a game camera or my main camera, and it's showing me the settings for that camera. So there's the transform. So this is the position and rotation and scale of that camera. And then it has other settings down below. I'm not gonna get into these just now, but you just know that this menu changes based off of what you have selected in your scene. And then down below, you can see that we have another two tabs. One is a project and one is console. I'll cover console first. Console is where you're going to see errors. If there's something in your game that's not working, it will tell you what that is and allow you to get directly to that item within your game. And hopefully you guys don't have any errors, but in the meantime, that is the console. The next window that we're gonna take a look at is the project window. So the project window is all of the assets that are in the game, so in the project itself. They might not necessarily be in the game, so you might not have them in the scene or be, be utilized at a particular moment in time, but that's where everything is going to reside. Now, personally, I like to have this arranged a little bit different. So usually what I do is I take the project window and I move it up next to hierarchy. There we go. So I'm gonna use this space down below for something else in another demo, but we'll go ahead and just leave that for now. And then what I like to do is this project window has now become fairly complex. So I can see my assets. So these are where everything is going to reside within our, our game project. And then I can create some subfolders. Now, currently this is in a two column format, which I think is a little more complex than it needs to be. So how I like to arrange this is if you click on the little icon at the very upper right hand corner of that tab, you can select one column layout. So now it's a little more simple. It's the same exact thing. It's just displayed in a different fashion. So here I can start to then organize all the assets that are actually in the game. So here we have currently scenes. And if I open up that folder, you can see sample scene and that's the scene that we're in. I then want to organize the project into subfolders as well. So Usually if you right click or control click on asset, you can create a new folder. So usually I'll have a folder for sprites, folder for sounds, etc. And we're not gonna get into that just the moment, but 
uh, just know that you can organize your project in all the files that are there. So that's the beginning of learning a little bit about Unity, learned a little bit about the, the interface, and in subsequent demos, we're gonna start looking at actually building a game. So if you like this demo, don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that little bell icon so you know when the next video is posted, and we're gonna start your game design journey together. Drop your questions down in the comments below and we'll start this game design journey together. See you next time.